exactly what you want to see. Let's run this puppy in. Score a touchdown and tie this game. Life, run for your life, touchdown on one play. Worked on this in practice. Touchdown. It's up to Kelvin Benjamin. This is all you, buddy. Kelvin Benjamin for a touchdown. Oh, he toasted his man. Holmes toasted his man. Spin move. Oh! Hey guys, what's up? It's Editor Juice here, and I just wanted to pop in before the actual video starts and say that um, in this video I talk about how during my recording of it, I uh, I mentioned that Baker Mayfield hasn't um, been it hasn't been decided if Baker Mayfield was going to start the game or if he was going to be um, sat down because of his injury and have Case Keenum start. So at the time that I recorded that video. Uh, that had that decision hadn't been made yet, but obviously now everybody knows that Baker Mayfield is not going to play in the game and it's going to be Case Keenum. So I just wanted to pop on a little bit before this video and say that I, I realized that Case Keenum is starting, but when I recorded that video, that news had not been broken yet and I found out about it uh, afterwards. So I just wanted to, to make this little uh, intro to the intro and and just give you guys that clarity just in case you guys are wondering like why is he talking about baker mayfield possibly playing in this game when it's been known that baker's not going to play in case keenum's going to start well i just want to let you know that i do know i just recorded that before that news broke so there so enjoy the video i hope you guys do like it subscribe to the channel join the juice, join the juice club and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video here on the World of Juice channel. Welcome back to another preview of Thursday Night Football. Week 7 is here and it is time for another Thursday Night Football game. I cannot believe that we're already 7 weeks into the season. This is the start of the 7th week of NFL football. I'm super excited too because we're getting into the, the good stuff. We're getting into the meat of an NFL season. You gotta love the juicy meat of the NFL season. So... This week's NFL action will start on Thursday between the Cleveland Browns and the Denver Broncos. That's right. That's the game tonight. It's going to be an interesting one. Usually, well, with recent Browns history, I would say that Cleveland's going to steamroll this team because Denver is not that good. I know they started out 3-0, but they played nobody in those three games. And since then, they have not won a game. They have not looked that good. So... Denver, I would have said, is going to get destroyed by Cleveland. But I can't say that because Cleveland's banged up. Cleveland is injured. I have not, as of recording this, I have not heard if Baker Mayfield will play in this game. Um, he, he may play or he may not play. If he does play, I'm, my guess is he's going to play. But if he does, he might not be as good as he could be because of that shoulder injury that he's got. Uh, we know that Nick Chubb won't play, and we know that Kareem Hunt won't play. I don't know about Jarvis Landry. He might play. Uh, Odell, I think, will play. Um, on defense, they've got some injuries too. So this Cleveland team is just struggling right now with injuries. It, you hate to see it. Um, I like to see with Cleveland because I, I hope that Cleveland loses every game just because I like to see Browns fans be upset. I like to see Browns fans cry. It's just something that I like to see. So I don't, I don't wish injuries upon any team or any person, but when it comes to Browns fans, I just hope they lose every game because I like to see Browns fans suffer. <laughs> it's just fun to me. So with all that being said, um, as a recording, this, like I said, I don't know if Baker's going to play. I'm assuming that he will play. Um, Although, when he has been playing with this shoulder injury, he has not looked that good. Cleveland has not looked that good, and they've lost some games here and there. They have not looked good in those losses. They, they're they coming off of a, a short week where they just lost to Arizona by a lot. I think it was like 37-14 or something like that. Uh, so, and Arizona didn't even have Cliff Kingsbury at that point. So, what do we make of this Cleveland team? Do we think that... They are what we thought they were going to be at the beginning of the season or in the preseason? Or do we think that Cleveland is just a bunch of smoke and mirrors? Do we believe in Baker Mayfield is the big question of the day. Do we believe in Baker Mayfield as not only a franchise quarterback, because that's still kind of up in the air, not so much as saying 
he's not the franchise quarterback the Browns need, but he is the franchise quarterback, which is the question of can he fulfill what a franchise quarterback needs to do? That's more of the question. The question isn't if is he or is he not the, the franchise quarterback. He's the guy. He's the guy. Can he become more and do more as a franchise quarterback for Cleveland? That's the, the more important question. But with Baker being injured, he has not looked that good this season. He's had some really bad games. He's had some struggles. He's made some bad throws, some miscommunications. He's not on the same page with Odell Beckham Jr. Um, he has made some bad decisions trying to escape the pocket and run away from defenders that he's just simply not faster than at this point. He may have been able to do that in college at Oklahoma, but he's not faster than these defense alignment and these linebackers in the NFL. These guys are fast. These guys are running four fives, four fours at some points on, on the D line and D tackles or in, in linebackers. They're not fast. They're not slower than Baker Mayfield. So Baker, he can't escape the pocket as well as he probably wishes he would. Um, but I'm assuming he's going to play because their backup is Case Keenum and nobody wants Case Keenum to play. That's just a fact. So we know that the two running backs are not going to play. Kareem Hunt got injured on Sunday against the Cardinals, uh, which sucks for me because he's on my fantasy team. But Nick Chubb was already out for that game, and I think he's going to be still out for this game too. So they're going to have to go to a third string quarter, uh, running back, third, fourth string running back. So will this Cleveland team win the game? That's the, the question of the day. That's the big topic. Will Cleveland get upset by Denver? Because Denver's had their own struggles this year. Is Teddy Bridgewater kind of a um, a quote-unquote bridge quarterback to their next guy? Can John Elway draft a guy? Or does he always have to get somebody out of free agency? Can he develop? And if he does draft somebody, can he develop them into a franchise quarterback? We don't know. Drew Locke is obviously not that guy. He was never going to be that guy, even when he got drafted. Um, I never believed him. I didn't think he was that good in college. But... He's, I mean, he's had his moments in the NFL, but everybody has a moment or two. Nathan Peterman had a moment in the NFL. Uh, it was a bad moment, but he had a moment. So Teddy Bridgewater, Teddy Two Gloves, as I like to call him. Um, can he get the job done? This defense needs to step up. The Denver defense is more healthy than the Cleveland defense. So, and plus they got Von Miller on that defense. I know Browns have Miles Garrett and I think Clowney got hurt uh, last week too. Uh, but they got Denzel Ward, who hasn't looked as good as he probably should, but he's struggled a little bit. Miles Garrett's obviously Miles Garrett, so I mean, any defense that has Miles Garrett on it is going to be really good. So, what do we what do we think about this game? Do we think that Denver can get the upset? Do we think Cleveland's going to just scoot by and and escape this one? Is this a trap game for Cleveland? Uh, if they do lose this game, does this mean that Cleveland's not good, or is it just we we probably have to take into account all these injuries? And at that point, do we think that Cleveland can recover? Are they going to drop past like the Steelers? Because the Steelers are bad. Uh, so there's a lot of questions that need to be answered about this game on, on Thursday. Now, early in the season, I didn't think there was going to be that many questions. I, I saw Cleveland-Denver on Thursday night on the schedule. I was like, oh, that's a, that's a wash. That's an that's a easy dub for, uh, for the Cleveland Browns. That's, a, that's big boy Ws, as we call them. So whitewash of the Denver Broncos, but seven weeks into the season, you can't say that at this point. So I'm thinking, and I don't want to say this, but actually, you know what? I don't care. I, I don't like Cleveland Brown fans. So I say Denver gets the win over a hurt and beaten up and broken down Cleveland Browns team. Denver gets the win. I would be so happy to see Cleveland lose this game. It would make me so happy. I would be filled with so much joy to see Cleveland lose this game just because they're Cleveland and they always lose. And now they're actually starting to get really good. And I'm not denying that they're really good. I've mentioned many, many times on this channel that I think Cleveland's really good this year, but I just love when Cleveland loses because they've got the 20 years of history of losing and being the worst franchise in the NFL. And it just makes me happy when they lose again. Now that they're actually really good. So I want Denver to win. I'm going to manifest it. I'm going to speak it into existence. Denver will win this game tonight, and they will be dominant in this game. Baker will not look good. Teddy Bridgewater will look decent. He will look good enough 
to get the job done. Cortland Sutton, Noah Fant, they'll play pretty well. The defense will get to Baker because Baker, with his shoulder injury, probably can't be as elusive as he could be. Like I said earlier, he's not the fastest guy in the field anymore. He wasn't really even the fastest guy in college, but he's not the fastest guy in the field. Uh, and especially with his shoulder injury, he's probably going to be a little bit tender. He's going to be slower. And this is all if he plays at this point. Like I said in the beginning, I don't know. At, as, as of recording this, I don't know if he's going to play tonight. So uh, it may have already been said on Twitter or on some sort of breaking sports news thing. I just haven't noticed it or haven't seen it yet. So that's probably on me. But as of recording this, I don't know if Baker's going to play. So I'm saying all this with the intention of, or with the thought of Baker playing this game because I don't have any information otherwise. So even with Baker playing, I don't believe in the Browns at this point. They're injured. They have not played good when they've had some pieces there. I mean, Baker has been covered up by this run game, but both of those guys are gone now. They're both injured. So there's going to be no run game to cover up Baker's mistakes. He's going to be front and center. And how is he going to play? Is he going to make the same mistakes he's made all season? Or is he actually going to step up to the plate, shoulder injury and all, and will this Browns team over the, the Denver Broncos? That is probably the most likely scenario where Baker just takes over, makes a couple good throws in crunch time, and wins this game. It's, it's probably by no means going to be a blowout either way, but it could be maybe a one-possession game in the fourth quarter. Baker Mayfield takes the lead, and then they hold on to it. That could very well happen, or it could go the other way where Teddy Bridgewater scores a touchdown, gets the lead, and they hold on to it. I don't think it's going to be a field goal game where the a field goal wins the game for either team. I don't think that. I feel like it's going to be either a, a touchdown wins the game or a, uh, they're up by two touchdowns or something like that. It's not going to be a crazy game. Uh, it's probably going to be a low-scoring game. So I'm probably predicting maybe around a, a 28-17 Broncos victory. Uh, Maybe even less than that, maybe like a, a 21 17 or a 24 17 Broncos victory uh, is probably right around the range that I'm thinking. Um, not the highest scoring game, but not the lowest, not a, not a three to six game or something like that. So that's what I'm thinking. I really hope the Browns lose, not because I, I think they will, just because I'd like to see Browns fans upset. That always warms my heart when Browns fans are upset. So thank you guys so much for stopping by and watching. Let me know your score predictions down below, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Subscribe to the channel, join the Juice Club. Peace.